If you're into longevity, energy, or just feeling like your best self, you're gonna love today's episode. Here's the truth. I've been taking NAD Plus supplements for a while now, thinking I was on the right track. But after attending a longevity conference recently and hearing multiple experts speak, I'm making a switch. I'm gonna go back to supplementing with MNM and I'm gonna tell you why. Welcome to the Zen Regen Podcast here on YouTube. I'm your host, Megan Sharp, and I'm so glad you're here. This show is your go-to space for the latest breakthroughs in health, wellness, and aesthetics. From red light therapy to longevity medicine, we cover it all with one goal, to help you feel, look, and live your absolute best. Make sure to hit subscribe and tap the notification bell so you never miss an episode. And if you're ready to dive deeper and work with our team, head to zenregen.com. Now let's get into today's episode. If you've ever been curious about NAD+, what it is, why it matters, or how you can use it to slow aging and boost energy, this episode is for you. So grab your coffee, a notebook, or just settle in because we're diving into everything you need to know about NAD+, its precursors, and how it can change your health. And stick around until the end because I'm also going to share a little bit about Zen Regen, which is our go-to for cutting-edge treatments to feel look and perform our absolute best. All right, so let's start with the basics. What is NAD+. Plus? NAD+, plus, which is called nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide, yes, it's a mouthful, is a molecule that's absolutely essential for life. It's literally in every single one of our cells. And without it, our bodies wouldn't be able to produce energy or repair themselves. I like to think of NAD plus as the fuel for our cells. So when we have enough of it, our bodies truly thrive. Well, why does this even matter? Well, as we age, NAD plus levels decline. So by the time we hit middle age, our NAD plus levels could be about half of what they were when we're in our 20s. There's a reason that we feel so much better when we're in our 20s than we do in our 50s. And that's because people just take the answer, well, this is just normal for your age, rather than truly focusing on optimizing and getting our levels back to where they were when we felt our best. That decline shows up as fatigue, brain fog, slower recovery after workouts, and accelerated aging. I don't know about you, but I personally don't want any of those to be part of my daily routine. So what's fascinating is that NAD plus plays a huge role in producing energy in our mitochondria, which is the powerhouses of our cells. It also helps repair DNA damage, which happens naturally as we age. And it activates sirtuins, which are proteins that help regulate the aging and cellular health of our bodies. Without enough NAD plus, it's like our bodies are running on empty. We feel sluggish, foggy, or just plain off. And this This is why there's so much buzz about NAD plus supplements. But here's where it really gets interesting. NAD supplements aren't always the answer and we have to look at why. You might be thinking, why not just take NAD supplements directly? Because if my levels are declining, that's certainly going to help, right? Well, here's the issue. NAD plus is a large and unstable molecule that degrades in our gut. It's not easily absorbed by our cells when we take it orally. It just doesn't get to where it's needed most. So research is showing that NAD plus IV infusions actually have a somewhat low efficacy level because the NAD plus outside of the cells is rapidly metabolized. And in fact, new evidence actually suggests that NAD plus in the blood can trigger an inflammatory response, which obviously we're trying to do the complete opposite. This is most likely the same case for NAD plus IMs. The bolus in the IM that we create in the subcutaneous uh, with this injection doesn't allow the NAD to effectively and efficiently be received by our bodies. And this is where the precursors come in. The smaller molecules that our bodies can actually absorb and convert into NAD plus. Two of the biggest players here are NR, nicotinamide, 
nicotinamide robicide and NMN nicotinamide mononucleotide. So let's break them down. NR is one step away from NAD plus. So our bodies convert it through a few processes. NMN is one step closer. It's already further along the path to becoming NAD plus, which makes it slightly more efficient. What I learned at this conference and what really changed my perspective is that NR and NMN are far better absorbed and far more effective at raising intracellular NAD plus levels compared to NAD plus itself. And for me, this was an aha moment. I was sitting next to Dr. Cindy Chambers and I too looked at her and was like, well, why wouldn't we just take NAD plus? Why would anybody settle for NMN? Then as I started listening to speaker after speaker and seeing research after research, just the data behind it, it really did change my perspective. So I realized that I had been using NAD plus supplements that just weren't giving me the results that I wanted or needed. And that's why I'm going to be switching back to NMN. But an important question here is why does boosting our NAD plus matter so much? What are the actual benefits of raising these levels with NR and NMN? Well, we get more energy. NAD plus fuels our mitochondria, like I mentioned before, the parts of our cells that produce the energy. More NAD plus equals more energy, less fatigue, and feeling like our best selves. It slows down the aging process. And I don't know about you, but I'm certainly doing everything I can to prevent premature aging. NAD plus activates sirtuins and helps repair the DNA damage, both of which play a role in slowing the aging process. It's not magic, but it is somewhat close or as close as we're going to get in some cases. It also boosts our brain health. Our brains need a ton of energy to function and NAD plus helps keep those neurons firing. It can improve memory, focus, and overall mental clarity. I think that's something that pretty much everybody can say is important and would actually want. It also helps with improved recovery and physical performance. So whether we're working out or just trying to stay active, NAD plus supports muscle recovery, endurance, and overall physical performance. This is why so many experts and biohackers are talking about the importance of NAD+. But by utilizing NR or NMN, they give our bodies what they need to age better and feel better. So you might be asking, how do you choose between NR and MNM? NR is widely available, has solid research behind it, and is a great place to start. But NMN is one step closer to NAD+, so it's often seen as slightly more efficient. I always say that your choices are definitely a personal approach to your overall health and wellness journey. But for me, I'm switching back to NMN because I want the best absorption and the most noticeable results. But here's what I recommend. Start with one and truly listen to your body. Pay attention to how you feel, your energy, your focus, your recovery. You may feel better using NR and I may feel better using NMN. It really, again, it goes back to that episode that I was talking about. Sometimes it's a Pepsi or Coke analogy and you have to do what feels best for you. The most important part is to be consistent. Longevity is not about quick fixes. It's about building habits that work over time. So how do we actually incorporate these supplements into our daily routine? Well, I take mine in the morning and on an empty stomach along with some of my other supplements. I pair it with healthy habits that naturally support NAD production like regular exercise. And I feel very strongly that you you really should be incorporating strength training if you haven't already. I also practice time-restricted eating or fasting, which supports cellular repair. And I wish that I could say that this is an area that I excel in, but prioritizing sleep really is super important because so much repair and regeneration happens overnight. Now, I am a terrible sleeper. This is something that I continue to try and improve upon. It's like I always say, though, it's not about doing everything perfectly. It's really about finding what works for you and just sticking with it. So to wrap this up, here's what you need to know. NAD plus is essential for energy, longevity, and overall health, but direct NAD plus supplements don't always
always deliver. NR and NMN are precursors that our bodies absorb more effectively to boost NAD plus naturally. And if you're looking to slow aging, improve energy, or just feel like your best self, NR and NMN are powerful tools to explore. I'm personally excited to be switching back to NMN and seeing how it impacts my energy and recovery over the next few months. And here is where I give a huge shout out to Zen Regen, which is my go-to for cutting edge regenerative medicine treatments. I'm beyond proud to be the COO of a company that finds continuing education so important. I literally just spent four very long and tiresome days with three of our providers learning about the newest research and the longevity medicine field because we care so much about our patients and want to provide nothing but the very best for you all. So whether you're looking to boost your energy, improve longevity, recover faster, or just feel better overall, Zen Regen has the knowledge and the tools to take your health to the next level. If you're curious about treatments like red light therapy, peptides, or even personalized supplements, Zen Regen is truly where you need to look. And for those of you that are not ready to commit and come into our clinic yet, I get it, but we do also offer virtual consultations. So I'll include the link for you in the show notes. If you found this episode helpful, share it with someone who's curious about longevity or supplements. And as always, check the show notes for links to resources and studies that I mentioned today. Take care of yourselves and keep in investing in the best version of you.